Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasham Ali Khan. So now I'm going to start the next problem that is problem number eight. So far seven problems I've completed. Almost I'm on the half way. Half of the chapter I've completed. Only uh, still some more problems are left on preparing the cash flow statement. So if you have not watched the earlier problems, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject financial statement analysis, select the topic cash flow analysis, watch the earlier videos, then only you join now. If you join now, it will not be, a, you, may, you may not be able to understand properly. So my suggestion, watch the earlier videos and then you watch this video. So I'm going to start the next problem, eighth problem. So I expect everybody is having the printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So eighth problem you see carefully. Huh. The following are the summarized balance sheet of Mehaka Limited as on 31st March 2016-17. Current year is 2017, last year 2016. So share capital, share capital last year 40,000, current year 50,000. Issue of shares. So issue of shares will be taken in financing activity. Reserves and surplus. Reserves and surplus last year 3000, current year 3200. We want the breakup. We want the details of these reserves and surplus which will be given in the notes. So come to the notes to accounts. Notes to accounts last paragraph it is given. Uh, share capital number one. In share capital we have two types of shares. Redeemable preference shares, equity share capital. There is no difference in equity share capital last year 40, current year 40. No change. So ignore equity share capital. Preference share capital last year dash nil. Current year 10,000. That means during the current year only preference shares are issued. So issue of preference shares will take it under uh, financing activity. Next second note you can see reserves and surplus. In reserves and surplus, general reserve last year 2000, current year 2000, no change. Ignore. Don't consider this reserves, general reserve. Surplus in profit and loss account, this will consider. Surplus in profit and loss statement, last year 1000, current year 1200. That means the surplus has increased by 200. Now our starting point is that only. Mahak Limited cash flow statement for the year ended 31st March 2007. First cash flow from operating activities. Increase in surplus in the statement of profit and loss. So last year 100, current year 1200. It is given in the problem notes. So 1200 minus 1000, it will be 200. So 200 is the increase in surplus in the statement of profit and loss. That is the study. Now adjustments for non-cash, non-operating items. Now we'll consider the other items. See carefully, number of new points we are coming across in this problem. So next one is debentures. Debentures last year 6,000, current year 7,000. The 1,000 debentures increased. So issue of debentures will take it in financing activity. This is the financing activity, issue of debentures 1,000. Issue of shares, preference shares. 10,000 right next item current liabilities short term borrowings bank overdraft bank overdraft is a liability but that should not be considered as a current liability bank overdraft will be adjusted in cash and cash equivalent in cash and cash equivalent last item cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year in the previous problem we have not come across of this bank code draft first time we are coming across the bank code draft will be deducted from the cash in hand the cash and cash equivalent is given 1200 at the beginning of the year plus 1200 minus 12500 12500 is the bank overdraft so this is cash and this is bank OD. Bank overdraft should be deducted because it's a liability. It is payable. So plus 1200 minus 12,500. This is at the beginning of the year. End of the year cash is 3,500. It is given the balance sheet. Cash in hand. Cash and cash equivalent is 3,500. Bank overdraft is minus 6,800. This is the new point. Bank overdraft should be deducted from cash. That's it. Next. Trade payable is a current liability, already we know it. Short term provisions. 
what is this short term provisions come to the notes last item third note third note it is given short term provisions two items are included provision for tax and proposed to dividend remember first time we are coming across this point so concentrate here provision for tax provision for tax last year 3000 current year 4200 last year 3000 provision for tax current year 4200 so what is the treatment we have to make the assumption the last year's provision for tax will be paid during the current year and current year's provision for tax will be paid in the next year that is the procedure so last year's provision for tax was 3000 last year provision for tax 3000 that is the income tax paid here you can see income tax paid 2016 3000 and current year's provision it is a non cash item current year's provision for tax is a non cash item so here provision for taxation 2017 current year current year 2017 the provision for tax 4200 similar is the treatment for proposed dividend last year's proposed dividend is paid during the current year and current year's proposed dividend is a non cash item current year's provision proposed dividend so proposed dividend 2017 current year it is 5800 and last year's proposed dividend is paid during the current year so dividend paid will come into financing activity in financing activity dividend paid which dividend last year 2016 here 2016 so these two points three points so far I, I have explained you in this problem that is bank or draft should be deducted from cash secondly provision for taxation current year's provision for taxation will be treated as non-cash and last year's provision for taxation we assume it is paid during the year so income tax paid 2016-3000 proposed dividend last year's proposed dividend is assumed as paid during the year that will be taken in financing activity dividend paid and current year's proposed dividend is a non-cash item so proposed dividend current year 2017 i have taken here that's it then after short term provisions come to asset side assets fixed assets fixed assets are given last year 30,000 current year 25,000 now come to the notes in the last note note number four fixed asset there's a printing mistake there there's a printing mistake what is that mistake you you take a pen and correct it right now original cost first column 41,000 strike off that 41,000 make it 40,000 second column 40,000 cut off that 40,000 make it 41,000 there is interchanged actually the second column figure should come first and first column figure should come in the second column there's a printing mistake there. that's why now you make it a correction first column 40,000 second column 41,000 first column 15,000 second column 11,000 the total of the first column 25,000 second column total 30,000 right so in other words original cost original cost last year was 41,000 last year was 41,000 current year it is 40,000 that means during the current year some fixed assets are sold because last year 41,000 current year 40,000 that means 1,000 fixed assets are sold so investing activity sale of fixed asset 41,000 minus 40,000 1,000 depreciation last year depreciation was 11,000 current year depreciation 15,000 15,000 so 4,000 depreciation provided during the year that depreciation is a non-cash depreciation on fixed assets 15,000 minus 11,000 4,000 so remember there is a printing mistake while calculating while typing here there is a mistake here the so first column values should go to second column and second column values should be taken in the first column that means 41,000 cut off and make it 40,000. Second column 40,000 make it 41,000. Depreciation, provision for depreciation, first column it is given as 11,000. Cut off that 11,000 make it 15,000. Second column it is 15,000, cut off that one make it 11,000. Total of the first column 25,000, total of the second column 30,000. You make it. That's it. So 
there is a sale of fixed asset 1000 the sale of fixed asset 1000 depreciation provided during the year 4000 that's all now fixed asset after fixed asset you can see current assets in current asset inventories and trade receivable working capital will take cash and cash equivalent last item will take prepaid expense that is also a current asset that's all. we have I have discussed all the points now here I'll show you depreciation on fixed assets 4000 proposed dividend current year 5800 provision for taxation current year 4200 now take the total 14,200 14,200 is the operating profit before working capital changes now adjustment for working capital increase in trade receivable trade receivable is a current asset increase in current asset should be deducted minus increase in inventories inventories is also a current asset it is increasing so deduct increase in prepaid expense prepaid expense is also a current asset increase in prepaid deduct decrease in trade payable trade payable is a current liability it is decreasing so again deduct so all deduction items 14,200 minus 4,000 minus 5,000 minus 200 minus 1,000 minus 4,000 we are getting so this is called cash used in operations before tax cash used in operations before tax minus now less income tax paid last year's provision for taxation assumed during the current year this paid 2016 so minus 3,000 minus 4,000 minus 3,000 will get minus 7,000 this is the cash used in operating activities first point completed now second point cash flow from investing activity only one sale of fixed asset My, uh, 1000 41000 minus 40000 1000 sold so it's a cash inflow cash generated from investing activity now cash flow from financing activity issue of preference share 10000 issue of debentures 1000 and dividend paid last year's proposed dividend is assumed as paid during the current year proposed so 10,000 plus 1,000 minus 5,000 is 6,000 cash generated from financing activity 6,000 now take the total minus 7,000 plus 1,000 plus 6,000 you will get 8,000 6 plus 1 7 8,000 is the net increase in cash and cash equivalent cash and cash equivalent now cash and cash equal at the beginning of the year at the beginning of the year at the beginning of the year 1200 rupees is the cash and 12500 12500 is the bank order of it. so 11300 minus the so minus 11300 plus 8000 you will get you will get 3300 this is the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year at the end of the year that's all so here 3300 if you add up you'll get 3300 that's all so this is the end of problem number eight ha, a small mistake is there here 14200 uh, minus 4000 minus 5000 minus 200 minus 1000 you will get positive plus 4000 actually just now I have written here minus 4000 so here I have taken minus 7000 by mistake the correct value is plus 4000 cash generated in operations before tax 4000 minus 3000 income tax you will get plus 1000 this is cash generated in operating activities 1000 positive 1000 so 1000 plus 1000 plus 6000 is 8000 now the calculations are correct by mistake earlier I have taken here minus 4000 that's why uh, we are I'm not getting here 8000 now it is correct if you add up all you will get 4000 4000 minus 3000 is 1000 cash generated from operating activities that's it